Let's see third kind of method. In the chapter of carbonyl compound, we saw a kind of reaction with ammonia and ammonia derivative. Just to quickly remind you, we saw one reaction of ammonia derivative. This is NH2Z. Z is a group that is attached to nitrogen, any group. When you do this kind of reaction, then what you get is this. If you remember, this was the reaction uh, that we call as addition elimination reaction. And depending upon the Z, you had the name for this compound. Fine. Now, this Z can be a hydrogen as well. Fine. And if Z is hydrogen, this NH2Z will be NH3. This will be ammonia. If you're getting, if you're starting with, if you're, if, if you're having the reaction on carbonyl compound with ammonia, you are going to get this. This is called imine. So you're going to have imine. Fine. And you can s tell me that what should I do on this imine to get a uh, amine? What I have done is destroyed this pi bond, added hydrogen on this carbon, added hydrogen on this nitrogen. Which molecule does that? If you add a hydrogen here, one hydrogen on this carbon will be added, one hydrogen on this nitrogen will be added and pi bond will be broken. So if you carry out simple hydrogenation, H2, PD, nickel, palladium, platinum, whatever you want. If you carry out hydrogenation on this imine, you will get this amine. So you can have a two degree amine, pure two degree amine like this. Fine. So it's an important method of preparation for producing two degree amine. If you take an aldehyde instead of ketone, then you will have a one degree amine. I'm sorry, this is not two degree amine. This is um, because degree of amine is defined by the number of carbon atom which nitrogen is attached with. So this nitrogen is attached with only one carbon. So this is one degree amine, not two degree amine. I was talking about the degree of the carbon. So it's not proper to say that it's a two degree amine. It is a one degree amine because it is attached with one carbon. It's a kind of amine in which a two degree carbon is attached with amine. Now if we take benzaldehyde and carry out the same two steps, addition, elimination by ammonia followed by hydrogenation, then we will get a amine, one degree amine of course, but nitrogen it is attached with one degree carbon like this fine so this is nothing new we saw this reaction in uh, in the in the chapter of carbonyl compound and we also studied the mechanism of as to how we get this so this reaction we already know Now extending the same idea of hydrogenation, let's quickly see one more simple reaction. If you have a cyanide and you hydrogenate it, now being a polar bond, it will quickly, it will have a high tendency for hydrogenation and it will quickly hydrogenate when you, when the first pi bond is hydrogenated. You get this imine and when the second pi bond is hydrogenated, you get this amine. Now hydrogenation will be a fast process but because it occurs at high pressure and temperature, so you cannot isolate this imine. The finally, what you are going to get and what you will be able to isolate is this amine. So the final product will always be reported as this amine. The hydrogenation of cyanide will result in this one degree amine. Fine. So this is simple hydrogenation reaction. If you have isocyanide and if you are carrying out hydrogenation on this isocyanide, so what will happen is you will get a two degree amine this time methyl on one side and whatever this R group is there. You just hydrogenate one pi bond, you break this coordinate bond because this coordinate bond, in this coordinate bond, nitrogen is giving its electron to carbon. 
and instead of when you take back two electron from carbon you add two bond to carbon so two hydrogen will be added and one hydrogen will be added corresponding to one pi bond this is going to become cs3 and nitrogen is going to get one hydrogen corresponding to one pi bond nh so in that way octet of all the atoms will be filled so uh, this is simple hydrogenation cyanide will give you one degree amine if you have isocyanide like this this will give you two degree amine fine so let's quickly solve a small little problem suppose you have to you have propene and you convert this to Butane amine. So quickly carry out the conversion from propene to butane amine. Simple reaction, simple conversion. Do it fast, please. This is propane. This is butane amine. Now I can see this the one carbon has been increased. So what reaction have you studied up till now to increase the number of carbon in the substrate? Oh. One obvious thing that we have studied is addition of casein. This is important and very powerful. Because when cyanide is a nucleophile, when it gets added on a substrate, it increases one carbon in the substrate. This is perhaps one important reaction that we have studied for increasing the number of carbon. So from 3 to 4, you have to think of addition of casein and casein will undergo a substitution. So first you have to bring a leaving group. That will go and the CN will come in. I can see this is this once upon a time this would have been CN and after hydrogenation this becomes CH2 NH2. So add CN and then you will get this. Now how to add CN? Develop a leaving group. How to develop a leaving group on this alkene? One way of developing this leaving group is addition of HCl or, or HBr. But I want the leaving group on terminal carbon. If you go for addition of HCl or HBr or HX, this will show anti Markonef. This is this will show Markonef cough addition. So the leaving group is going to appear on the second carbon. So now if you add CN, this CN will come on the second carbon, and that will not work out because I want a straight chain. So I want this X to be on the first carbon. So we studied a reaction, very important in the reaction of alkene and that was addition of HPR using a peroxide. Now this gives an anti markonifkov addition. This was studied in the reaction of alkene. anti markonifkov addition of HBR using peroxide. And this hydrogen will come on an inner carbon and bromine will go on an outer carbon. Now you have this. Now when you add KCN to this Br- minus will be thrown out and Cn- minus will enter into the substrate. From here to reach here, it's a single step process. You just carry out hydrogenation, you will get this. No problem.